Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of colors. The National Anthem of the United States of America, sung by the voices of IFD. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rockets Ooh. rang the air The bombs burst flag was still there. Oh, oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free? And the remain standing for the National Anthem of Canada.
please remain standing for the invocation by Lieutenant Colonel, Army Airborne Ranger, Father John Carney. Good morning. Please be seated for a few moments before the invocation. About 20 years ago, I got a call from Chief Bobby Halt, and he was Deputy Chief at the time in Albuquerque Fire Department. And he said, Padre, would you do a blessing? We're, we're having a push-in. You all know what that is. When you get a new engine, there's a ceremony that dates back to the mid-19th century uh, where the new vehicle is pushed into the firehouse. I'm not telling you anything. And I said, sure, I'd be happy to do that. And I put together a little liturgy, you know, and a blessing. And um, so they pushed, they were, they were about to push the vehicle. And, you know, the first push is for God, the second push is for country, and the third push is for safety. And part of the blessing I gave, of course, being Catholic, I want to bless everything with holy water. And um, I blessed a few of you last night with holy water, and it kind of sizzled when it first hit. So I was concerned. Anyway, I blessed engine five. Uh, with holy water, I'm walking around the, uh, the vehicle and blessing it. And midway through it, I, to somebody behind, I turned around, there's a young firefighter, maybe a probie, and he's wiping the water off. And I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm just rubbing it in, Father. <laughs> rubbing it in. Listen, I want you to know, as I tried to con uh, convey yesterday, how beloved you are, you firefighters how this nation loves and admires you. And I'll back that up with some statistics. There's an organization called Growth, Growth From Knowledge, and it's a world-leading provider of data and analytics. And they did this survey on uh, who are the most trusted people in America. And you guys are on top of the list, as usual. Matter of fact, I'll quote from the study. It said, ranked as the most trusted professionals in Europe and the United States, with 92% of respondents the other 8% were Antifa, I believe. In any case, 92% of respondents finding them trustworthy. Perhaps it's all in the job description. Being required to step into the face of danger every time you head out for an assignment is not just admirable, it's downright heroic." End quote. By the way, second were teachers, not teachers' unions, but teachers. Uh, third was um, nurses and doctors. And of course, I think nurses probably got a little tick up, don't you think, this past year? God bless them. And then finally, soldiers. I'm sorry we came in fourth. They must have been watching me. By the way, the least trusted were, shockingly, attorneys, unless you need one, journalists, and yes, and politicians. I'm glad the mayor's not here today. The public admires you and they want to let you know that. And one of the problems, I think, with firefighters is you're not very, we don't see you until there's an absolute crisis. You know, we see police officers and other first responders around town, but we don't see firefighters. You know, I have a local Albertsons I shop at, and not, not infrequently, there'll be a couple of firefighters in their class Bs, you know, gr grocery shopping. And I always go up to them and they say, hey, brothers, God bless you. And they're so uncomfortable. They go, eh, well, you know. They don't, you, you don't want to, you, you have to accept that thanks. We need to say that to you. And I suggest you consider looking that person in the eye and go, it's my honor to serve, sir. You know, because it is an honor to serve. Chief uh, uh, Rick Lasky yesterday uh, said, you know, little kids look at you, they love you. And they want to grow up and be like you. And he says, uh, they want to drive a fire truck. He says, I've never seen a kid. He said, what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to drive a FedEx truck. Never happened. They want to be like you. They love you. They admire you. Let them. And let me ask you to consider this. Wear your class A's when you can. Certainly for weddings or funerals, it's appropriate. Don't say things like, well, I don't, I don't want to stand out. I want to make a show. No, we need to see you because this world has gone crazy. It's not only COVID the last 18 plus months, the whole world's nuts. I watched a video last week and it was introduced by a history professor or a professor, I'm not sure his field, uh, from Harvard. He said, I am Professor so-and-so. Nice to be with you today. And here are my pronouns. I said, what? My pronouns? Where'd that come from? Who changed the rules? You've seen all of this nonsense. It's the inmates look like they're in charge of the asylum. And so people, our citizens, need to see you because you give them safety, you give them peace, and they love you. 
So get out there in uniform whenever you can and let's, let, let us look at you. Let our kids see you because they need it. You may not like that, but that's part of your responsibility. We need models of service more than ever in this country today. And don't let the relatively few dirt bags take that away from us. Huh? You know what a mother says to her kids when she sees you in Albertsons? She tells the kids, you know, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Because they're there. Please stand now as we pray. Blessed are you, Lord God of mercy, who through your Son gave us a marvelous example of charity and duty and the great commandment to love one another. Send down your blessings on our firefighters and all who protect us. Grant them courage, wisdom. Give them a quick wit, strength, all the things they need to do their job to keep us safe. What's over their families and loved ones, especially when they're not there to do that. And when they're called to aid both friend and stranger, give success to the work of their hands and a spirit of thanksgiving to all who are protected. We ask this in your mighty name. Amen. By the numbers, column left, at half step, march. <laughs>